Utopia Theatre was founded back in 2012 and they've had the residency at the Crucible Theatre since 2016. And soon they'll be starting a run of their biggest production yet. I went down to their newly opened creative hub in the city centre to speak to their founder and CEO. It's here on Rock Egan Gate, just off the moor, that you'll find an oasis of colour. For this is the relatively new home of Utopia Theatre, having opened back in September. And the idea is that people from the community, this should be their space. This is their space. It's not, yeah, we, we've got Utopia Theatre sign outside, but actually the idea is that it's a community hub. It's a space where people can come in, they can sit down, read a book, grab a cup of cup of coffee uh, for free and, and just and just chill for a bit. If they're doing their shopping in the city centre and they just want to take a break, they can come here. As well as an open community space, it's also the base of operation for Utopia's theatrical productions. We sat down to discuss their newest and largest production, Death and the King's Horseman. It's your biggest production yet. It's going to take place at the Crucible. What does that sort of mean to uh, the company? I think it says a lot. It says a lot about patience. It says a lot about process. It says a lot about just having that tenacity to continue to build relationships with people. And as you grow, then your company will grow and also you just be able to make this kind of ambitious work. The Death of the King's Horseman is a Nigerian story. So have you done anything um, to adapt the story to um, a Sheffield audience? So we're not planning to do that. So we don't... <laughs> We tend not to adapt things to Sheffield audience. We, 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 we believe that Sheffield audience are very intelligent audience and that actually just the same way that people have the habit of traveling and wanting to experience new things that they would embrace this very African story. Because even though it's a very African story, it's not in a way because there's a very strong influence of colonialism on that story because it's a story about the colonialists who were in Nigeria and the impact that they've had on Nigeria and the story of these foreigners who were in Nigeria. And you'll be able to watch Death and the King's Horseman from the 3rd to the 8th of February 2025.